All right, we're gonna build a new B-roll set today. And uh, this is going in a corner that's basically unused. We have a table and two chairs. It's never used for anything. We had all the foam paneling on the wall. That took a really long time to put up, but we've torn it down. And now this thing, which is like a, I guess a vinyl wall mural is gonna go up here. And hopefully the resolution's high enough on it that um, we're going to be able to get kind of a fake brick wall. And then the plan is for the B-roll set, uh, B-roll being the filler video we use of products. The hope is to put some shelves up, put some plants up and get a different theme than the normal electronics and workshop look that we have on the other side of the room. So we're gonna start with this thing and it looks like it really sucks to do. Before that, this video is brought to you by Corsair and its Void Pro headset. The Void Pro headset is available in wired or wireless versions, with the wireless option supporting a boosted range upwards of 30 to 40 feet. The headset has full RGB LEDs on the ear cups, has 50 millimeter headphone drivers, and lasts up to 16 hours on battery. It can also be plugged in for wired use and is now lower in price than when it first launched. A noise canceling microphone is also included along with an easy mute indicated by an LED and you can learn more at the link in the description below. So the goal of this project is to create a dedicated video filming area for product B-roll and uh, that's got two advantages. One, it gives us a new look, so it's something different to work with. It keeps things more varied and less stagnant for the B-roll on the channel. And two, it's never going to use probably for A-roll or very rarely anyway, which means that uh, there's a low chance of me filling the table with stuff that gets in the video team's way. So two benefits there. Uh, the downside is this mural is in eight pieces and it is 12 feet by nine feet. So it's gonna take a while to put up and it's gonna go here. And, uh, and then we're gonna drill through it later with shelves and stuff like that. So um, this looks awful. Here you go, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> Great, jo thanks. Josh and Andrew will, will take it from here. <laughs> So we made a lot of progress so far and Andrew and I are now working on potting a bunch of plants. We have these succulents that are gonna get, go into the hexagons up there. Should be pretty sweet. We were just doing some test shots here um, of some headphones and it's looking good so far, but we added this one and didn't film this process. Uh, anyway, it's tall and it gets in the shot and we'll be able to take care of it. So we're going with real plants, unlike some people in the tech space by which I mean basically all of them. <laughs> so we're going with real plants. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's I guess the theme is going to be like wood tones and plants. And right now we just threw a blackout curtain on top of the table. Not sure if we're gonna do something else with it. Um, the plan is to get these and to those. We're gonna put, because they don't, they don't have drainage on the bottom, but that should still be fine because these are succulent plants. They don't need a lot of water. And I'm just gonna put some foil in to protect the cheap wood that's underneath, put some rocks on top of that, soil, plant them. And then we have, um, we've started decorating this shelf. It's not final. This is just, this will change a bit. The wallpaper actually came out really well. So if you're looking at it, like, like if you're like this, you can start to see the pixels. It's pretty damn good from a distance. And once you account for things like, uh, potential bokeh and depth of field on the camera, distance of the camera from the wall, and focus on a different subject, it's pretty convincing. So we're, we're happy with this. And uh, this went in relatively easily. It's just anchored into the drywall. And yeah, let's, uh, I guess we'll, we'll get the plants in and see how it looks after that. So what we're doing right now is we're adding some foil into the bottom just to protect against uh, the water, but there's not gonna be much water in there. Hopefully this will work out, we'll see. And then we're gonna put these two plants in there first. So there is a mimicry plant and then a, uh, let's see, sedum, 
pack, 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 fill up. I don't know. So these say they are, this one's a split rock. It's native to Africa. Uh, it has an egg shape. It, it basically looks like Bulbasaur. And then we also have this one, which is from Mexico. So the hope is that these two together shouldn't be too big. They don't grow that big uh, past this point. So they, they should have enough space in this hexagon. And I guess if I can find where we got these, I'll link it in the description or something if you want to do a home improvement project or whatever. So this one came out looking pretty good. The Bulbasaur one definitely seems like it took well. The one on the right is incredibly fragile and was a bit damaged from the store. So uh, we tried pretty hard to prop it up. Andrew did a good job getting it straight with the rocks. And hopefully the one on the right also survives, but we'll see. So this is our new B-roll set. We've done it. We've, uh, I, I think we're mostly gonna use this for B-roll. So pretty rare that you'll see me over here when we do a video. Um, maybe, I don't know, it's, it's much more interesting now. Like this corner actually does something. So yeah, we've got one of the, these plants are like some of the oldest ones we've had in the office. And then the new ones, this one planted really well, pretty happy with this one. Um, I am skeptical about the survival rate of the succulents in those hexagons, but we, we shall see. We did our best. We did a pretty good job of planting them. It's just some of them are pretty fragile. So, uh, I think they'll be okay for now at least. And these things ended up sucking. So I thought, thought it was a lot bigger and could maybe put something useful in there, but I don't know, we'll either get rid of them or fill them with sand or something like that, colored sand maybe. The last thing for us to do in this space is figure out, we're gonna fill in a little bit more of the wall space with some stuff. So uh, the plan is to finally get some of the CPU art up here from the old CPUs that you all sent us. We've actually tested a lot of that old stuff in content. So it's been more functional than we had planned. Uh, but now it's time to get some kind of, I think maybe like a logo made out of CPUs up there or something like that. So keep an eye out for that one. So yeah, that's that's the B-roll set. And I guess we'll just do a montage reel of fancy shots now because, because that's why we built it. So enjoy some random product shots from the new B-roll set. <laughs> 